Hi guys, so I wanted to um, just quickly start this uh, exploration of the whole issue of uh, Zoom bombing. This is something that's been uh, very, very topical at the moment with the coronavirus, with everybody stuck at home. The people are uh, basically, um, you know, there's a lot more Zooms going on. Zoom, of course, being the popular internet meeting service. Uh, and unfortunately, you know, sometimes with every step forward online, there are negatives as well. Uh, it's given rise to this phenomenon of Zoom bombing in which uh, essentially groups of people uh, trolls, you could say, online trolls, uh, malicious users will uh, basically in a coordinated fashion flood a uh, Zoom meeting with random people and those are Zoom meetings that generally have not been properly uh, secured. Um, so I'm just going to basically give an, I want to actually demonstrate how incredibly, uh, you know, how many people are just waiting to jump on Zoom links because it's pretty, I've done it a couple of times. We did an experiment last week where I was having a Zoom meetup with my friends and uh, tweeted the link just to see would anyone join. And uh, I'm just going to show you exactly how many people do uh, and what kind of people come on because this just demonstrates why it's important to protect your Zoom link. So this is uh, something, a post from the Zoom blog that was published uh, only a few days ago on the 20th of March um, about how to keep the gay crashes out of your Zoom. They gave a few recommendations. Really the top recommendation, I'm just going to bring over my, uh, my Zoom client. Now I'm using Linux. Uh, I've also set up a, a demo account uh, for this purpose uh, I, use, using an alias, Shinomo Cohen, and I've gone, I've gone with the, uh, one of these websites that generates fake faces. Um, so the first thing, if you create a new Zoom meeting, um, this up here, it's going to give you an invite link. Um, and the most important thing really is not to share that invite, invite link and password with the, with the public. Uh, that's really asking for trouble. And specifically, you know, any public forum is bad, but uh, stuff like Twitter is really bad. And you see a lot of the times, um, sorry, I'm just, I think the Linux Zoom client just crashed over there. Um, so let me just start a meeting again. So you will get this, um, just create a meeting over here, you'll get this uh, invite link. Um, you can copy it to the, let me just bring over the notepad just to show you exactly what it contains. Uh, every time you set up a meeting on Zoom, you're going to get one of these. And uh, basically you have your Zoom join link, uh, you have your meeting ID, which is the same as this 10 digit string over here. Um, and then you have your password. So if you look at the URL for a second, um, the link, the URL that you're going to pull out of the actual client is going to contain, um, this is a really dangerous link because you have here the local server, Zoom, J, I believe stands for join. Here you have the meeting ID. This is the, the nine digits over here. Um, and then at the end of this, this, this aspect here is actually a, uh, a key, a password key in the URL. And you have a, digit, you have a meeting ID and you have a password here too. So basically, uh, you certainly don't want to, to, to tweet this, but even if you use the, um, even if you send a calendar invite and you get a shorter link, um, so long as you have you give the password as well, that's all people need to join your, your Zoom meeting. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and actually end this meeting here. Uh, we'll create a new one uh, when we tweet out the link and I will show you how many people are just going to latch onto a Zoom meeting. Uh, the Linux the Linux client is not the best. Uh, it tends to crash quite a lot, or so so I have found. So I'm just gonna have to forcibly close it. Okay. Um, so that's number one: is do not, under any circumstance, um, send your personal meeting ID, um, you know, out onto Twitter. As I said, uh, another thing would be that when you when you create a Zoom meeting, you're able to create a waiting room, and a waiting room is when uh, when people join your meeting, they will immediately go to the waiting room and then you can choose to admit them to the actual meeting or not. Um, this is very sensible to do. Um, you know, you shouldn't be really sending these in the first place, but that, it's a good feature. Uh, and why not use it? You can also lock the meeting and locking the meeting uh, is basically when. Um, that means nobody will be able to, to join, nobody further. So let's say you, you're coordinating a Zoom meeting with three participants. When the three participants have joined, so there's U plus three, you can then lock the meeting and nobody can join. Uh, you can remove people uh, as the host um, and you can disable their video. Uh, I'm just trying to think another good thing would be to uh, force them on mute when they join the meeting. That's another function that you can do. So um, 
the problem really is that so many people are tweeting Zoom links. So um, now I've come up with something called Zoom Roulette and I, I really meant it in a good way because uh, as I said, I think there's a lot of really, really good uh, things happening on Zoom. And you know, I've joined a few webinars, I've joined a few coffee hours for freelancers, that kind of thing. And they're really good. Uh, so it's a pity that because there are unfortunately, as I said, people on subreddits uh, and on Discord servers, and they're not looking for interesting things on Zoom. They're actually, uh, there's Discord servers like um, Rune My Zoom or uh, Raid Zoom, Zoom Raid Room, and they're actually looking to just screw up people's ones. So this is an example. This The volume of uh, stuff you'll get by typing in, uh, this is the public Zoom URL structure I was talking about. So just find, find one here. Um, Zoom.us forward slash J, and you can see this URL contains all the aspects. Um, if you look at the, the black, um, the highlight here, it's got zoom.us forward slash J, you've got the meeting ID there and it's got the password as well on that link. Uh, this, uh, you know, uh, WLPS Office of Partnerships has quite in innocently tweeted out here, there'll be a Board of Education meeting tomorrow, April 2, the meeting will begin at 4, so all you need to know, you can figure out, I'm sure, where this um, institution, they're based in Connecticut, Connecticut's on uh, EST. So I'm based in Israel, so all I, all I need to do is 4 p.m. EST in Tel Aviv, for example. Uh, so at 11 o'clock my time tomorrow, I could click this link and that would automatically open my Zoom client and get me into their meeting. Uh, so the volume is staggering. So if you look at this, two, this is actually quite slow, three minutes, two minutes. Generally, there is a Zoom link. Uh, here you go, seven seconds ago, 14, 21, every 20 seconds. So look what happens when I click on one of these guys. Uh, if I was not using uh, Linux, uh, this is one of these, these things I need to fix. Um, but let me actually just open my, open my Zoom again. I'm gonna go for keep me logged in. And we can basically just join any of these, uh, any of these uh, meetings so long as we just know the, the meeting ID. So uh, for this one, Actually, I'm just going to open up this browser here in the site. Uh, let's go over this one, for example. Let's see what we find. Copy and paste. Um, we will shortly be uh, joining this over here. Here we go. Now I've just joined, I'm going to just disable my, my audio, um, I'm, on, I'm on mute, so I've just joined three random people on Zoom. Uh, that's how easy it is, they have no idea who I am. Um, I get... So I'm going to leave before they kick me out. Um, and that is basically uh, how easy Zoom bombing is. Um, there are just, as I said, absolutely tons of these. So that's what not to do. Um, I want to show you how bad it can get um, if I do it. So let me just do this kind of process in reverse over here. It looks like I'm going to have to uh, forcibly close Zoom again. Um, let's just see what happens out of interest if I tweet out a uh, Zoom link. Now, let me just show you actually before I do that the, what you should be doing. Um, so let me just create a new Zoom meeting over here. Um, uh, uh, uh. Let's click on host meeting with video. Sorry. Let's just schedule one actually. I think you get more options this way. Let's just say my meeting. Um, my demo Zoom meeting. And these are really the things you would want to be doing. Um, you would want to be click on this button, enable waiting room. Um, and that will basically, uh, as I said, create the waiting room. So now I've created my demo Zoom meeting and I can go into my uh, desktop client here and start that up first of all. Um, here it is, my demo Zoom meeting. So I'm just gonna start this meeting. Okay. So this meeting is now underway. And what I'm going to do is tweet out, this is the, as I said, you can see the join URL has everything. It's got the meeting ID, it's got the password. And I'm just going to tweet this out to my personal Twitter account. Now, I've only, in the last week, 
since coronavirus become active on uh, Twitter. Uh, so I don't really have a following, but just, this is just this is just to demonstrate how many people are looking for Zoom links, or if people are. Uh, I actually think the people are looking for. Um, you'll get different results based on uh, what you put out there. So, uh, okay, that is, this, that, is, that is what I just pulled out from the web. Okay. Live Zoom meeting happening now. Anybody is free to join, but no bus. Uh, by joining, you consent to being is. Um, so I'm just going to add a couple of hashtags, zoom, ah, I'm on my uh, demo keyboard over here, I'm on the demo account of my Linux, so I am i don't know whatever this keyword is, so I'm going to do this uh, very, very old school. Um, and let's just see, observe what happens. Give it about 10 seconds. I'm just going to bring this guy over here. Uh, open up my participant screen. Now, let's just, let's just wait a few seconds. We'll see if people join. Um, what should happen is that you'll get people joining and uh, they will come into the waiting room. Uh, and if that wasn't enabled. Now, you want to, this is where you can do new participants on entry. So I'm going to enable that. And here we go. We've got two people already. Um, and this is the lock meeting button. So I'm just going to let them in. Admin all. Now we've got, um, I'm going to mute myself. We now have uh, one, two, three, four complete strangers in our Zoom meeting. Uh, there's one person uh, shaking their backside to the camera. So I just ended that meeting, as you can see, there was one guy, one guy joined in a balaclava, um, another guy was uh, shaking his backside in front of the camera, um, and that was what, maybe 10 seconds after I tweeted that out? So I'm just going to delete this tweet. Um, I did, give, I did uh, tell people that they were being recorded, which is exactly what happened. So basically that's a demonstration of why you do not want to... Um, ever uh, tweet out a Zoom link publicly which, and include the passwords. A really bad idea. Um, I did also want to demonstrate, so let me just start a new meeting and uh, so that, that's the waiting room, that's how that works. I could have rejected them. Uh, what you do want to do is, um, if I just start one more meeting before I end this video. So what you want to do, let's say you do a Zoom meeting, um, a video one. So you want to firstly have the waiting room if you've got any suspicion whatsoever uh, that people are going to be joining. Um, you then want to, uh, when you go into the participants here, and again I'm using Linux so this is not going to be, if you're using Windows you'll have a different thing. This lock meeting thing, firstly I would take this, mute participants upon entry, uh, and I would also take lock meeting. No, no new attendees can join. Now once you've done that, once you have your people in, even if they have the join link, the join password, they will not be able to join. So in this situation where I had 10 people uh, Zoom bombing, uh, I think this happens algorithmically. I think there are, uh, I've seen Discord servers and subreddits where people are coordinating. I think it also happens uh, programmatically um, as well because you saw that was like, what, 10 seconds uh, it took for people to join. So guys, I hope this has been helpful, this uh, quick demonstration of Zoom bombing, what it is. Um, so long as I, I still think that um, I still encourage people, I'm doing a bit of this, I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not a Zoom bomber, I don't have any interest in trolling people or joining kids in their, uh, in their classrooms, because this is, I also want to show this, there's some really, really good things on Zoom, um, you have mindfulness sessions, you have uh, webinars, um, there's a lot of weird stuff as well, uh, I looked at one of these when I was trying to see if you can just, what, what Zooms are being tweeted, Zoom jack call means like a jerk off circle or something. So it's people, people masturbating. Uh, so, but you know, as well as that, you have so there's really good stuff on Zoom. Um, I hope that um, uh, you know that people hosting Zoom. I think the answer is people need to host it in, search, in such a way that they need to be very careful. 
with um, tweeting out these things. Ideally, tweet out something that requires a registration form um, so that there's at least a gated process, uh, vet the participants. But it shouldn't be a case that uh, you know people have to stop this altogether because there's some really good things happening on Zoom. Um, and I still encourage people, despite the despite the potential for Zoom bombing, to continue to, to check out what's out there. There's some really interesting good things. So um, I'm going to end this video here. And um, my website for anybody uh, anybody was, anybody that wants to get in touch is danielrosell.co.il. I have a contact form there, and you can uh, just drop me a drop me a message, and I'll get back to you.